Alma and how she got her name. Alma, Sophia, Esperanza, Jose, Pura, Candela had a long name. Too long, if you ask her. She couldn't fit it all on one piece of paper. <laughs> My name is so long, Daddy. It never fits, Alma said. Come here, he said. Let me tell you a story of your name. Then you decide if it fits. Sophia was your grandmother, he began. She loved books, poetry, jasmine flowers, and of course me. She was the one who taught me how to read. I love books and flowers and you too, Daddy. I am Sophia. Esperanza was your great-grandmother, he continued. She hoped to travel but never left the city where she was born. Her only son grew up to cross the seven seas. Wherever her sailor son went, so did Esperanza's heart. The world is so big. I want to go see it, Daddy. You and me together. I am Esperanza. Jose was my father, Alma's daddy said. He was an artist with a big family, like many people had back then. Early each morning, he walked to the mountains and the plazas to paint everyday life. Sometimes I went along. Your grandfather taught me to see and love our people. I wake up early every day, and I draw a lot too. This morning I drew a kitty cat for you, Daddy. I am Jose. Pura was your great aunt. She believed that the spirits of our ancestors were always watching over us. When you were born, she tied a red string around your wrist a charm to keep you safe. Hello, Pura. It's me, Alma. Candela was your other great-grandmother. She always stood up for what was right. I am Candela. I love the story of my name. Now tell me about Alma, Daddy. Where does that come from? I picked the name Alma just for you. You are the first and the only Alma. You will make your own story. Alma, Sophia, Esperanza, Jose Pura Candela. That is my name and it fits me just right. I am Alma and I have a story to tell. Alma. A note from Joanna. My name is Joanna. Carlotta Martinez Perazzo. My father named me Juana after his mother, Juana Francisca. My mother chose the name Carla.
to honor the memory of her uncle Carlos. My father was the man of decisions. So when it was time to register my birth, he changed Carla to Carlita on the birth certificate. He was convinced that Juana Carlita was a mighty name and he wanted it for his daughter. Thanks to that change, I got stuck with what I thought was the most old-fashioned, harsh, ugly, and way too Spanish name in all of Lima, Peru, where I grew up. Little did I know that later on, after I moved to the United States, it would feel unique and remind me every day of where I come from. What is the story of your name? What story would you like to tell?